Hi there, my name is Hannah Rose Megan. I'm 29 years old and just finished my first quarter as a master's in teaching candidate with Evergreen State College in Tacoma. I studied anthropology and sociology as an undergrad student at Kalamazoo College in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Since then, I've been involved with education as a behavior support person, after school program counselor, and summer camp counselor. About five years ago, I completed a teaching English as a second language certification and have been teaching English overseas um, since then, with a few visits back here to the States. I worked for small language academies as well as alongside English teachers in a French public high school and a few after school tutoring programs through two organizations that were part of French Social Services in 2014. Uh, the past two years, I worked uh, first in a public high school and then a public elementary school in a small town in central Spain. My work as a master's student this quarter uh, has enabled me to gain theoretical as well as practical experience in teaching models of instruction and learning theory, as well as the complex social and historical issues affecting and related to teaching practice here in the States, and particularly here in Tacoma. I'm working with a first grade teacher at Sherman Elementary School and completed a group project and presentation on the concept development model of teaching, as well as a tryout teaching lesson um, in which I conducted a lesson on energy and sustainability using the academic controversy model within the collaborative approach to learning. This video demonstrates a few of my areas of strength in relation to the work with which I have engaged this far as well as some areas where I can improve and grow, learn and develop in order to work as a future transformational educator. In my work as a collaborative team member for our group project and the presentation on cooperative learning models, I worked hard to develop a comprehensive handout that explained our assigned model of instruction. Our team worked well together to complete all the necessary requirements of this project, including a PowerPoint presentation, explanatory model handout, and two lesson plans for primary and secondary level classes, where the concept development model was used for lessons on sustainability. While I consider myself a hardworking and cooperative person in general, this project challenged me to think about and work on being a more supportive team member that can take initiative in order to affect group effectivity and coherence. Our group ended up dividing our project into ways that were not very equitable and this was evident in our presentations and the material we submitted. Personally, I had a tough time watching the videotape of our presentation. As in presenting my portion, I said um about every other word. Adding up to a grand total of 235 ums. Actually, I didn't count them exactly because it was too painful to watch and listen. Yeah, upon reflection, this helps me to understand the importance of the language teachers use in the classroom. My experience thus far in the field has enabled me to watch and hear a teacher who is very precise and intentional with her language, and I more fully understand the need for myself to work on using precise, clear, and intentional language. Later this quarter, I planned and implemented a lesson on energy and sustainability using the academic controversy model, a collaborative approach to learning. I chose this model within a cooperative approach because debate, public speaking, and being able to argue and defend a position are skills which I feel most uncomfortable and least confident with. While I was well prepared with resources for my peers who acted as fifth grade students as well as calm, collected, and enjoyed this experience that was also an observably student-centered and fun lesson. This experience also brought to my attention areas where I can improve and am excited to explore in future teaching practice. The footage from this tryout teaching lesson demonstrate that I had a student-centered lesson involving good wait time, prepared materials including learning objectives, debate guidelines and agreements that necessarily involve student input, as well as books and various handouts as resources for identifying and developing relevant information on energy and sustainability. In addressing the feedback I received from my cohort peers, I was able to better adapt this lesson and shift both the materials I had developed, the language I used, and the organization of this lesson. One of the strengths that this experience proves is my ability to adapt and work flexibly. The debate I had originally envisioned 
was not exactly possible due to time constraints and the number of students participating. Yet I was able to adapt times and shift the structure of my lesson slightly in order to complete one session of the debate along with the following collaborative task to develop a joint position on renewable and non-renewable energy. The feedback I received from my peers during this experience also helped me to adapt my lesson plan and materials in order to engage in using more kid-friendly and intentional language. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta